walked uncharted roads as an adventurer, a pioneer. There's uh, something to be said about being first. And as he achieved greatness, he became a legend. He was one of those guys that wasn't going to let go of his dream. The journey began here. This is Garrett Avenue. In the quiet community of Garrett Hill, in this modest house in Delaware County. We used to play marbles up this alley here. And then uh, Mrs. Tanel would have us in once in a while for cookies or whatever. A trip that would eventually take him nearly six hours away to Canton, Ohio. Emlyn Tanel was, in many ways, a player ahead of his time. Growing up in a multiracial community during depressed times, there was rarely anything Emlyn Tunnell couldn't do. This lean, strong, and swift athlete was a two-sport star and excelled whenever he had the ball. I hope that he gets all the recognition that he deserves. Childhood friend Bill Lyons is one of the few left from the gang at Garrett Hill. Beautiful. I walk here just about every day. Now 86 years old, he remembers the good old days and his good friend, Emlyn Tunnell. When he came home, I mean, uh, everybody was glad to, to talk to him, you know, and uh, be a friend of his. What Tunnell did on this field in the 1930s captured the small town's attention, and his star began to rise. Tunnell was just, he was the whole team. Everybody that played with him and played against him said he was probably the best athlete they ever played against. He was all Delaware County, um, all suburban, first team all state, both his junior and senior year. Just without a doubt, one of the best athletes uh, in Delaware County history. He did it all, and, that, and, that, and during that time period, you did it all. After suffering a neck injury in college, Tunnell enlisted in the Coast Guard, where he would become a war hero, saving two lives. Once back home, he hit the road, making his way to Iowa to finish up his college career. Then, by using part of his now famous hands, he arrived on the doorstep of the National Football League. He literally hitchhiked. He hitchhiked from the West Coast to the East Coast because he wanted to try out with the New York Giants. He hitchhiked a ride on a truck driven by a West Indian man delivering bananas. That's who drove him across the country. He gets to New York and just goes into the New York Giants offices, unannounced, no appointment, nothing arranged, and he just walks in and says, I want to try out. Clearly a different age of pro football that you could do that. You're not going to do that today. But they worked him out and they realized, well, this guy can really play. On grit and confidence, he made it to the NFL writing a new chapter in the game's history book. Of course, this is very early football, too, and you didn't have as nearly as many African-Americans playing, and I think the Giants took a chance on him. Yes, I do believe. Those early years with the Giants were some of the best teams ever to play. Yes, Tunnell's presence on defense helped the game evolve, and after a few championships, it was off with his friend Lombardi to Green Bay. I guess what Lombardi saw in Tunnell was his physical ability, number one, that's the obvious. The, the strength of his character and his desire to play this game. And the other part was his intelligence. But Tunnell's heart never really left Delaware County. It was all about family, and he put his money where his heart was. This is a house that Emily bought for his mother. I, th I think it was a second or third paycheck from the, from the Giants. When his career ended, he was literally labeled a game changer. His 79 career interceptions were an all-time record. And then Canton came calling. He was the, the offense on defense, Emlyn Tunnell. He was the all-time leader in punt returns, punt return yardage, punt return average across the board. I mean, he really made a significant impact in the history of the game. Emlyn Tunnell's likeness sits now among the greatest to ever play the game. This bust stands testament to a man who played with character and brilliance while increasing the awareness for all of us so we can now reflect. Ellen Tunnell Field. In a small park off Garrett Street that bears his name, 
A plaque reminds those passing through of where they are walking. When you walk on this field, know that you are walking in the footsteps of a giant. Something Tanel's longtime friend Bill Lyons knew all along. I just wish he was still here, that's all. <laughs>